In this week's project, we'll show you how to add LEDs to your LEGO bricks. These light bricks are 3D printed and have tiny LEDs inside. They're pretty cool for adding lighting effects to your scenes and you can easily connect them to just about any LEGO compatible brick. You can make them in several colors and turn them on with a tiny button on the side. Compared to the official light bricks, these diffuse the whole brick instead of just being a spotlight. The LEGO light bricks are great for pointing light, while the 3D printed brick glows brighter and fits in tighter spaces. But you can connect them together to make interesting combinations that illuminate your projects. You can 3D print the bricks using opaque filament on almost any desktop 3D printer. But if you don't have a 3D printer, the files are free to download so you can send them to a 3D printing service. The two pieces take about 10 minutes to 3D print and only cost a few cents in material. You can get the full list of parts to build this project from our tutorial linked below. Here's how the circuit works inside the brick. The LED sequin is housed between two walls. Two coin cell batteries are wired in series and powers the LED. A push button will open and close the connection between the batteries to turn the LED on and off. When the button is held down, the LED stays on, and when it's released, the LED turns off. These Adafruit LED sequins come in a pack of five, so we'll need to break it away from the panel. The LEDs are surface mounted to a PCB and already contain a current limiting resistor. We'll work on the bottom of the LED and tin the positive and negative contacts with a bit of solder. The 3D printed brick requires support material, so we need to carefully remove it. A pair of flat pliers are great for pulling out individual layers of the support material without damaging the brick. Next, we'll need to cut pieces of wire to connect the LED to the batteries. We can use the brick to gauge how long they need to be. They'll need to be pretty short to fit inside the brick. These red and blue colored wires will help tell the connections apart. Using wire strippers, we'll remove a bit of insulation and tin the tips with a bit of solder. We'll need four pieces of wire to connect all of the components together. We'll use copper foil tape to connect the wires to the batteries. We'll cut thin slices using a pair of scissors. Then we'll tin the pieces of copper foil with a bit of solder and attach a wire. We'll need to do this for the positive and negative contacts. Next, we'll need to trim the pins on the button short using a pair of flush snips. Then we'll tin the pins with a bit of solder and attach one wire to each pin. Make sure to keep the backing on the pieces of the copper foil tape. Now you can connect the wires to the positive and negative contacts on the bottom of the LED sequin. They should be in an upright position. We'll need two more pieces of copper foil tape for connecting the wires from the LED to the batteries. Remove the backing and place them on the inside of the 3D printed brick and stick them to the walls using a pair of tweezers. Then carefully tin the two pieces of copper foil tape with a bit of solder. Next, we'll insert the LED sequin into the 3D printed brick face down. Position the wires from the LED towards the two pieces of copper foil tape. Now we can solder the wires from the LED to the copper foil tape. Insert the wires from the button through the opening on the outside of the brick and press it down until it snaps into place. Now we can position the copper foil tape so the positive and negative wires follow our circuit diagram. Then, peel the backing off from the copper foil tape and stick them to the inner lining of the brick. Next, we can insert the coin cell batteries. Orient the batteries so the positive and negative contacts line up properly. Now when we press the button, the LEDs light up. To finish this off, we'll secure the bottom cover using a single machine screw. And that's it! Now we can try it out and add it to any LEGO compatible bricks. You can connect it to a number of LEGO bricks from either the top or the bottom. To keep the LED on, you can place a brick near the button actuator and snap it in place. These transparent pieces are great for this and look really nice with edge lit material. These LED bricks look great on buildings, but they can also add lots of details to vehicles and other props. We hope you like this project and try it out for yourself. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the Adafruit channel for new DIY projects every week.